You know, when I was in college, we used to go away for spring break. And it was always a great experience. We went to Cancun. And one time we went to the island of hedonism. Now, it wasn't exactly what you're envisioning. It was worse than that. But the point of being there in Cancun was everybody would go to this island. And it was nothing but drinking and eating to the point where everybody's senses were so dulled, they didn't know where they were or who they were. In other words, our senses can so literally control us that we forget who we are and what's happening in our lives. This weekend, the prodigal son, God bless him, he went out and spent his old man's money on women and drinking and partying. And you know, Scripture says that he had to come to his senses. I've never really understood that, comp, that, that quote in Scripture, coming to his senses. He was literally living in his senses. How did he have to come to his senses? It's because when something overwhelms us, when something controls us, our senses actually literally shut down. A bright light shuts down. I, have, I can't see anymore. A loud noise produces ringing in my ears. On and on, I could go on with the example of our senses. There's three things I want you to pray about this week. First of all, are you living in a, in a sense, in your senses, but not allowing them to control you? Your senses are not meant to control you. We are not animals led by just desires and passions. We have a purpose. I have free will and reason. And if what I'm doing is not in conjunction with my vocation, then I need to stop doing it. The second thing to recognize is the story that the prodigal son, when he came home, his father ran to him. He ran to him because he missed his son. His son was lost and is found. He's dead. He's come back to life. Do you see that every time you encounter the mercy through the sacrament of confession? The Father's love runs through the priest. It runs so powerfully and so beautifully that it's not limited to a one-time encounter. This is a grace that God gives to you more than once. So every time you enter into the sacrament of confession, you leave having consumed the fattened calf of mercy, having been kissed by the Father through the grace of His Son's life, and death on the cross through Jesus' divine mercy. And the third thing I put before you is, when you've been that son, having lived in your senses, and now you've been kissed by the Father, do you go home to other people and let them understand that the Father's mercy is now coming through you? You know, there's never a time in our lives where we should say, you know, I would never do that sin. Or I could never see myself falling into that sin. Because once you do that, what you are saying is you never, you are, you are rooted in pride and you could never receive the Father's mercy. In order to receive the Father's mercy, you must be able to understand that at any moment, at any time, you could be the prodigal son. Now, big brother, we've all been there. We understand the big brother because he's the one that's been given and given and given, but never allowed his heart to be touched by the love of the Father. I'm not sure who's got the harder, pain, the bigger pain in their lives. Is it the prodigal son or the big brother? Remember, the father made two journeys that day. The one he ran to the prodigal son, and the other he walked outside to grab his older son and said, come in. But you know what? It's a parable. We never know what happened. Did the, prodigal, did the big brother come in to the party or not? Or did he stand outside? That's the part that you and I finish. Do we stand outside to the mercy of God when the fallen away Catholics come home, when our broken kids come back to us and say sorry? Whatever it may be, do we absolutely recognize that we are not meant to be the big brother who misses out on the fiesta, but that we are to be the ones rejoicing that a son lost has been found and dead come back to life? Remember, folks, this is more than a sermon. It's more than a, a thought. This is the reality of the mercy of the Father's heart. Have a great week.